Hey guys, uh, today we'll be starting a new Python tutorial. Uh, we'll be learning about Python and soon uh, C Sharp. So we'll be going over that. Uh, so today we'll just go over the uh, the print function in Python. We'll just do some example codes. Uh, just starting out with it, uh, we'll go. We'll learn about different types. So in Python, there you don't have to write, for example int val and there's no semicolon so it's just so you just you just write val and then the type is automatically detected so you just go like val points to like 10 there's no semicolon and then we can uh, so there's we'll talk about all the types but there's basically three no there's there's different types uh, there's three kinds of numbers, I think. There's ints, floats, and complex numbers. So we'll go over that later. Uh, it's automatically detected, as I said, so we can you can change them. So you can change a type. So let's just go over the. We'll just start off. So we'll just say we want to print val. So we just go like this: print val. So as you can see here, we got ten. So that's how we print. The print is just P R I N T, no F like C and no system dot print out, system dot out dot print ln like Java. Uh, so we can say, so when you print, so if we have a string here, so if we say, str equals to, uh, let's just say this is uh, like a name like Bob or something. So we have the string is equal to Bob, so we can say we want to print uh, Bob. So that should print out Bob. No. str equals. Uh, I think I may need some brackets here perhaps str equals Bob whoops uh, the name oh whoops I, I my my apologies so we I don't think we need these so let's just try, uh, we sorry, print str, not, not Bob. Okay, so we got Bob, uh, can we put brackets here? Let's see, so let's put some, sorry, let's put, uh, parentheses here and see if we can. I don't think we need them. Okay, so you can, you can do it with parentheses or without. Uh, so can we say... So when you also you can type a string like this. Uh, so let's just comment this out for a sec. So we can say we want to just print. We can just want we can print a string literal. So you can use single quotes or double quotes. It doesn't matter which one you use. Both are the same. So there's no characters in Python. It's just it's just uh, taken as a string. There's no care data type built in or anything. Uh, so here we can say, so we could say my name is Bob. Oh, sorry. There's the comment is done with uh, the number sign. So my name is Bob. So once again. Uh, comments are done with a number sign. Not you can't do them with double quote uh, slashes. That doesn't work in this language. So you need to use the number sign. Sometimes when you're cycling through different languages, you make s small mistakes here and there. So just uh, it's not a big deal. So just uh, correct that, and then we'll go. So we can change these with single quotes. We can change these to single quotes to show that uh, you can use single quotes to write a string as well. 
So there is a string uh, there is a string at least in Python that's built in. Uh, you don't have to type string, but it's just built in as a string. So at least it's kind of better than a character array. It's probably done as a, an, an array in the back end, but you don't see that. Uh, so we can print my name is Bob. So we can do we can span a multi-line string. So we can say, uh, how do I do this? Is it done with this? Uh, okay, so print my name is Bob. My name is Bob. Try that. Okay, so, whoops. So as you can see, we, we spanned a string across multiple lines. Uh, so you, you need to do that with three quotes. To do that is three quotes. Uh, you can span it across multiple lines. We'll go over escape sequences later. Uh, can you do it with three? One, two, three. No, it doesn't let me do that, I don't think. So when I type it, when I hit it uh, once, twice, three times, it, then it makes six. So it's not doing, it's not, uh, I think that's into, uh, I think that's PyCharm itself. If I go one, if I go one and two, one, no, it's still doing double quotes. I go two, I don't think that's going to work, but we can try it. Yeah, it's getting red lines. So it's just done with three. Uh, why is it doing that now? Something's being written automatically. So you need to do it with three double quotes uh, to span it across multiple lines again. Uh, so yeah, so that's pretty much it. Uh, and we can do one more thing here, so we can say str points to Bob, the string literal, and we can say my name is comma Bob. That should print like that. Okay, so there we go. So we have a string here saying we we type the string literal here. My name is and then comma. Then we set string to point to the string literal itself, Bob. Uh, so you don't need a plus and you don't need to use for, uh, like format specifiers or format modifiers. So hopefully you guys understand that. So we'll just get into some other uh, example codes here. So we'll demonstrate a reassignment. So we'll just say uh, reassignment. Uh, so, uh, how do you spell that? Reassignment. Uh, so we'll say we have dollars points to 2.75, so it's a float this time. What is, is that just a warning? Missing white space around. I don't think it likes those, but that's okay. So we'll just try that. So we'll say uh, the dollars points to two point seven five. Then we'll say we want to print. I have. Then we'll pass in. Uh, yeah, that comma should be outside the quote. So we'll say I have dollars. Comma in my account. I have dollars in my account. Uh, that should be correct. So we have 
Yeah, that should be fine. So we'll say we'll print that. Sorry, we'll, we'll run that. So if you're new to running, uh, if I didn't explain it, we just I'm just clicking that run button in the top right corner. Uh, I'm not going to get into the installation. It's pretty easy to install PyCharm. I can just tell you if you if you haven't installed it, you just need to Google PyCharm, go to the JetBrains website, download it for your device, click Add Path to System, whatever. When you down when you open it, add the .py. Uh, file type and then click just click all of them add add to projects click all the check boxes start up start it up restart it if you want uh, when you're done then when you click new project it's gonna ask you to make sure your internet's on then click create if you don't have it it's gonna ask you to download it when you click create it should download the Python interpreter automatically then once you do that just click uh, click on that main.py or create a new uh, You should be able to just click on main.py if you don't you can just create a new file Then it should work. So we don't have any classes here. So it should just work like that So we'll go over everything later uh, more into the rest of the Python syntax and all that So hopefully that helps uh, Okay, yeah, so we have this so we're gonna reassign reassign this uh, variable here so here we can change we can call dollars again down here and say dollars points to 1000 then we can say uh, now I have uh, dollars and then string in my account and the string, oh, sorry, print it, not print F, apologize. Uh, whoops, I'll just save and run that. See, I have, as you can see, I have $2.5 in my account. It says on the bottom, now I have $1,000 in my account. So that's uh, the reassignment. Uh, so we'll also go over input, how to take in input from the user. Uh, so we can do a uh, reassigning variable to a different type So you don't have to cast it in this case so we can have a uh, So we'll just delete this here and we'll start again, so we'll have Uh, so we'll say uh, So we'll have uh, we'll just say val points to 100 So then we'll just print uh, print val So now we can change a uh, val to a string. So we can just go val points to converted. No, let's say we converted uh, an int to a string. What do we say val converted. We converted val from an int to a string. So hopefully that makes sense. So we converted val from an int, so we'll convert it to a string here. Uh, then we'll say print uh, val. Save and run that. So we have val equals 100 here we printed val then we so that's a number because we didn't use uh, any quotes here so it was taken as an int 
So if you use a string like that and put a number inside the string, it's going to be taken as a string. Like if we put, just to make it clear, if we have the number in the quotes like this, then we have it, we have val as actually a string. But if we take the quotes away, val is going to be an int. Uh, so we printed val, we printed the int, then we reassign the variable to a different type. We said val points to the string, this string. I could just change it here. So uh, we'll, uh, we'll, we first printed this string. So we changed the int to a string. Now I can just type in str, just show you that it printed str. So hopefully that makes sense. Uh, we'll go on to the next code. Just a few more here. Uh, so how long? So 15 minutes, okay. So we'll go over the input uh, keyword, or sorry, the input function. Uh, the input function basically uh, the input the input function reads a string as input from the keyboard. So we so to to read an int, you have to cast it to an int. So we'll do that in a sec. So here we'll have a uh, name points to input. So we'll just say input function. Or we can have uh, we can have string or st string uh, str points to what is your name? Whoops, uh, that was wrong. We say, uh, excuse me, so we have str points input, and then we'll say, what is your name? Just use a capital there. Uh, so we'll have, what is your name, and then what with a question mark. And then we'll, uh, pr uh, so if we do that, it's not going to print anything. So we'll here we'll say print str. Whoops. What is your name? So here uh, I'll just enter. Uh, so my name is Bob. My name's not Bob, but just to make it easy so my name's Bob and then it prints out uh, it prints out wait a minute no apologize okay so I should have done here print out str not in the quotes did I do that in quotes yeah I should just print out str like that without quotes as you can see what happened if you don't do that so we have what is your name if I type in Bob it should tell me my name's Bob okay yeah so we typed in Bob here and the Python interpreter sent us the data back that what we typed in input it and outputted it to us so prints the output function inputs an input function so we inputted a string and it outputted the string so we'll just do one more here uh, how to convert So there's a different, there's two different ways you can do this. So we can have, uh, we can say str val points to input. How many programming languages do you know? question mark so how many programming languages do you know uh, question mark so we should have so 
so we'll put uh, so here we'll say int val points to cast it int to str val then we'll say we want to print uh, int val save and run so what we're doing here let's see if it works first uh, how many programming programming languages do you know? Uh, we'll just say we know 10 programming languages. So what happened was is that we created a variable named str underscore val, which pointed to the input function, which took a string input as input. Then we created an int underscore val variable. We pointed it to a cast of an int and we casted it to the string val. So we pointed, we said int val points to cast it into, oh sorry, so int val point, pointed to, or int val points to, so when I say points to, I mean it's equal sign. So int val points to cast it int to str underscore val, so what's happening is we're casting that string into, uh, into an int. Then here we're saying, well, we're gonna print that int val which is a number. So I printed it as a number. So there's another way we can do this. Uh, so the way to do it is we can cast it in one line like a triple, uh, sorry, we can use it basically a triple function to cast it. Uh, so we'll do that here. So we'll have So here we'll just say we want to get uh, get user data. So here we'll say uh, name points to input. What is your name? Question mark. Age points to int. So th this is how you do it. So we say a. So we. Uh, say age points to we want to cast it to an int then we'll call the input function then we want to cast uh, so it's gonna the input the question or the the input function is going to write this string and wait for input so we're gonna say well we want to cast the input that we're getting to an int that's why we cast it here I think we can put brackets on the outside as well so we'll try that in a sec so we'll say uh, what uh, what is your age? We'll do a float here. So we'll say so you can do you can do it like this. You don't need to put white spaces, I believe, or any spaces in here. It's called a white space. This thing. So you can do uh, these lines or commands without white space so you it's up to you for me I, I sometimes I even do it like this I feel comfortable doing like that it's all up to you what you want to do I think if I'm writing long codes I'll probably end up doing it like that for some reason I don't know why it's just just the way I write it so here we can have in uh, income points to float so we're casting it to a float and then we're going to call it the input function again and we'll say here what uh, the string. So we'll say what is your income. So here we'll say we're going to display. We're going to display the data. Uh, that's a comment. So we'll say. So we'll say that name is the string name comma uh, name. We'll pass in name here. 
Then here we'll print out uh, age. Pass an age here. Uh, whoops, not print F, so that's C, not Python. Then here we'll have uh, print. Income, comma, income. So we're passing in income, so we're writing the string income, then passing in uh, the income variable. So I'll just save and run that. So what is your name? We'll just say my name is uh, Bob again. What is your age? Uh, my age is, let's just say my age is 28. What is your income? Let's just say my income is, I'm still a student, so let's just say it's like $5,000. So we, so we have uh, Bob points to, so we have name points. Uh, so what happened is we printed out So what is your name? My name is Bob. What is your age? My name, my age is 28. Uh, so what is, so we have name points in, but what is your name? So this is the input function, ta uh, taking the input, we type something here to pass the input to the output. And what is your, what is your age? 28. What is your income? 5,000. Name. Then it, here we print out, uh, name is Bob. Age is 28, income is uh, 5,000. So yeah, so hopefully you guys understand uh, and you guys uh, enjoyed the video. We'll be going over pretty much the whole language again. I still have lots of videos to upload for the other languages and Android, so I'll get that out. So we'll be doing this, so we're doing Python then in a couple months we'll be doing uh, C sharp uh, so C sharp is .NET so Microsoft the Microsoft framework uh, so that'll be cool so we'll be making probably some maybe making some uh, perhaps some graphic stuff like like some windows uh, buttons panels maybe stuff like that So that could be cool. So we'll go over that. Uh, so hope you guys like the video. If you guys like the video, you can give me a thumbs up. Uh, you can subscribe to the channel for more programming videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Thanks for watching.